Idaho. Such a great state. Some things we're known for, huckleberries, finger steaks, fry sauce, and probably the first thing that came to your mind, potatoes. Today on Gathering Self-Sufficiency, Idaho potatoes, because we live in Idaho, we like potatoes, and they need to be planted. This is what our potato beds look like. They're made out of, these are two two by 10s stacked on top of each other, redwood. I've got some corner posts in here. They're not nailed together, they're bolted together through these posts with galvanized bolts. We've got about 18 inches of amended soil in here. We amended it with uh, this Espoma Garden Tone, and it's good for herbs and vegetables. Smells bad, works good. So we usually like to plant about mid-April, and uh, we're a little behind this year. We did have a cold snap. We picked these up at our local garden center. My wife likes Yukon Golds because they're tender, and they just they're, it's a really good potato. We are going to plant these whole. You can split the eyes. If you do do that, if you do split the eyes, you want to put them in a dark room and let them dry for a few days before you do it. So we like Yukon Golds. What do you like? I really like a red potato too. That's, that's a good potato. Russets are good. I could talk about potatoes all day long. I'm from Idaho. What potatoes do you like? We do a lot of Idaho stuff on this channel. If you stuck around this long, think about subscribing. Our channel is all about what we do here at our place and what we do out there. Fishing, hunting, gathering, foraging, all those things that we enjoy. Be part of the conversation. I'm always happy to answer questions or just have a friendly conversation with somebody. Let's get to the rest of the video. Okay, so we're just going to take our little scoop shovel, go in about six inches, and cover it back up. Obviously, if you have loose soil like we do here in our raised beds, you're definitely going to get a better yield on just about anything because... The, uh, the roots don't have to struggle. So what we did was we just laid out our potatoes where they go first. And then once we have them where they go, then we can just easily go back and stab our hole in the ground and plop them in. Okay, so there's one potato bed planted. That's all it takes, it's pretty easy. And we've done in the past a uh, couple different varieties at a time. One variety in one bed, another variety in a, in a different bed, but my wife really does like the uh, Yukon Golds and prefers them. So that's what we're gonna do. And from time to time, you will have volunteer plants come up. We did get a volunteer potato from last year. And I'll show you that here in a second as soon as I get this last one planted. So that is a volunteer from last year. Looking good, we'll just leave it be. So you can see the different uh, top dressing or whatever you want to call it in this bed there's a lot of eggshells this is just uh we had an old composter we emptied it and some of this is just left over from that all that will be good and i'll just go over some of the uh the watering system with you guys so you can see what we what we've got set up so i've got a manifold that i've got right here and i've got four valves running from it. 
and all I've done is just run those hoses this way and then they tee off go to our uh, one black cap stand they tee off again go to the other black cap stand and then this is kind of uh, I guess what you'd call another zone and it runs straight this direction and back to the planter boxes for the potatoes so that line runs right through here and then I've got it teed off here and what you see down here this is the uh, soaker hose that goes around the potatoes so this is just sitting out because we were getting the, the beds ready and getting them planted and everything so the hose comes off this tee goes in through the bottom of the box and then I've got a, a 90 right here and then that's connected to this soaker hose same thing over here and uh, what we use to keep everything straight we just use these stakes that you can pick up at any garden center then we could put the spacing on the soaker hose how we want it and I believe the way we did these ones last year is we just did a spiral like this and uh, have it nice and even, stake it all down, and it worked great. So most of your water is gonna be directed just straight down. It doesn't work like a sprinkler. It works like any other type of soaker hose, but um, why we like this particular style is it has emitters built into it, and it doesn't seem like it clogs up as bad. We've used just your regular, that porous black soaker hose, and we just don't like it doesn't last for us. Uh, we've got hard water and it just doesn't work. Um, so if you have hard water and you're looking for an alternative, these seem to work pretty good for us. We've had them in our, uh, we've had them in our berry stands. So we've got four berry stands right now. We've had them in there for um, several years and we haven't had any issues with them. So you might check that out. Despite what you might think, Idaho, even though it's known for its potatoes, we don't eat them for every meal or go around eating them like they're an apple or anything like that. They do grow pretty easy here, uh, but there are people that do have issues with growing potatoes and it just really depends on your soil. Typically a more volcanic soil in certain parts of Idaho is really where the good potatoes come from. We've always had really good luck growing our potatoes, but uh, better luck growing them this style in a raised bed with a mixture of compost and topsoil. It works for us. And we appreciate you watching our video. Hopefully your potatoes will grow just as well as ours do.